and welcome back to my channel. So, today we are going to do a Pouring in Harmony Challenge, which is the jellyfish um, on a pour. So, I'm doing a re-pour over a Mod Podge piece that I had done to test out Mod Podge. Mod Podge, I'm sorry. Growing up, I called it Mod Podge, and from a few comments that I've received, I realized that even though I know that it's Mod Podge, sometimes just because of habit, I say it wrong, and that's irritating to a few people, so I'm really trying to say it right now. So, I didn't really like this one. I love the colors, but it had like a uh, something that I didn't want to display. So I decided we would pour over this one and the colors I'm going to use today for this jellyfish are the Folk Art Metallic Pearl White, Folk Art Metallic Ice Blue, Color Shift Purple Flash, and Metallic Blue Sapphire. So all of these are from Folk Art and we're just going to have some fun with it. So first off, I'm going to take the white pearl. And I didn't want the background to be like, blah. So that's why I did this instead of just a regular white. And the reason I chose to pour over this particular piece with this is because it has those blue colors in the back um, underneath. So a little bit of blue will shine through even with this white. And I think that'll give it more of an ocean feel. My cups and everything behind me are kind of in the way. But yeah, you'll get a little bit of that blue shining through because it's so dark and this is such a light color and I just think that will help give the ocean kind of feel. I need one of these that's like the exact size of my paintings <laughs> so that the edges don't like dig into my paintings like this one's doing in places. but. This is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. What I may do is tilt it a little or use a straw to like blow since I've already got a straw out for this project. That marbled look in the background is okay with me. I just don't want like major spots of blue. So I'm going to get my straw out and just kind of blow a little. I'm just going to help it over the edges just a little bit in some spots that's still kind of colorful on the edges. I probably should have done a coat of white on here, but I really wanted that blue kind of color. And I didn't expect this white to be quite as transparent as it actually is. It's much more transparent than I expected, in all honesty. But hey, it happens. It still looks pretty good and I can still see some of the blue through. So I'm happy with that. It's a little more than I wanted in some spots, but I can always just add some more white to it at the end. Okay. So I guess the thought behind this is you start with the top and you blow it out. And then you can either do a string pull to create the tentacles or you can use your popsicle sticks, your stir sticks, or whatnot. Um, so pretty much whatever. There's a piece of dirt in it. 
Okay, so to form the actual jellyfish, I am going to start right here and just put some of the blue down and a little bit of the color shift purple flash. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. This would probably be easier with like the um, fishing wire that's bendable, but I'm gonna use a straw. not bendable so it's going to be hard to do from this angle. <laughs> okay. Actually, give me just a second. I have some smaller, like five pivots. They're not for art, but I think I can probably make one work for this. They're actually firm. They don't really bend, but they're smaller, so it should help control where the air goes. Maybe a little too much <laughs> control. Okay, so I like this, but I want it to have a little more. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the blue. and a little bit more of the color shift. And I'm gonna keep playing with it. Okay, so I really like that for the top, and I don't think I'm going to use, I just got out of breath, <laughs> and pull my chair up for a minute, so I don't think I'm going to use string to make the tentacles because this piece here actually does really well, um, and I have a lot of these. Um, these are pipettes for artificial inseminations. This one is brand new, just to note, and I keep these on hand because I have dogs. So I think what I'm going to actually do is just pick a couple of dots where I want some of the legs to be, the tentacles as such. And I'm going to just try to blow it out. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of the ice blue to some of the tentacles. Not all of them, just a few of them. Just to add that little bit of striation. Okay. I'm going to stand back up. I had to sit down and catch my breath. And we're going to blow.
Okay. So I kind of like it, but it's not going down as far as I'm wanting it to. So I guess I'm going to just add... A little in a few spots and then blow it out from there to make it go down lower and see if that does it bit of white left in the bottom of the cup. I want to cover up a few spots. I'm going to drop a white blue. The light blue. So, I think it looks like a pretty good jellyfish, you guys. For my first try, I think it looks pretty decent, actually. I'm actually happy with this. So, I think I'm going to leave it alone because if I keep working with it, I'm not going to like it. And I'm going to let everything dry and then I may go around the edges and just touch up right through here or here. And then right around the very tip to cover up a little bit of this yellow that's showing through. But I like that some of the blue is showing through. So I do like that. So yeah, there's my very first try at an octopus. That's pretty cool. I'm An octopus, you guys, is a jellyfish. It's all good. That was a lot of blowing and a lot of air loss. So that kind of explains why I said octopus. Anyhow... So definitely comment down below and let me know what you think. If there's anything I should do differently or try differently next time. Um, also, just to kind of see who watches the videos all the way to the end and who sees everything. Comment the month you were born. And the word that I said incorrectly when I was referring to the jellyfish. What animal did I call the jellyfish that it wasn't? So if you comment those below, I will pick a random comment and that person will win a gift. So the month you were born and what did I call the jellyfish when I messed up and mistaken it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think.